Today we're evaluating the Xbox One S. Let's get started. Although the specs are somewhat limited, we know it's 40% smaller and strikes a similar minimal aesthetic as its predecessor. This console boasts an internal power supply, and the controller has been upgraded with a textured grip, twice the wireless range, and is compatible with Windows 10 PCs, tablets, and phones. This new iteration will also play Xbox 360 classics. Notable features include 4K streaming with select apps, which may require an upgraded subscription to Netflix and presumably a better internet plan. According to Netflix, a steady internet connection speed of 25 megabits per second or higher may be needed. HDR functionality is only available with supported games and TVs. Microsoft states high dynamic range technology brings out the true visual depth of your games and adds that games like Gears of War 4 and Forza Horizon 3 will utilize this snazzy tech. The base model will retail for 299 US and the upgraded model with included 2TB hard drive and vertical stand will cost 100 more and is slated to hit shelves in August of this year. Is this a good buy? Well, if you have a 4K ready TV, have an internet connection speed of 25 megabits per second or higher, and have a streaming service or Netflix plan that supports streaming in Ultra HD, then yes. If you do not have the aforementioned hardware services, you may have to shell out more cash than you anticipated to truly take advantage of this technology. So. Is the Xbox One S for me? Not near term, but I still want one. If you would like to know more information about the Xbox One S, please see the description below. Subscription to this channel is mandatory, and thanks for watching. If you would like to know more information about the Xbox One S, please see this this trash. Jeez, I should stick to gaming.